Hey Lauren. Yes guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna give it a minute or so for people just to roll in. Yes, hey guys, how we doing? You guys that are joining in, just so you know, it is a body weight session. So you won't need anything but your beautiful selves. It is, as I said, as we mentioned before on Instagram, um, a running specific hit workout. So it's gonna be a lot more lower body focused, just so you're aware. Just while people are coming in, I'm just gonna explain roughly how the workout's gonna work. So it's a fairly similar structure to the last workout I did on sports shoes. So the first part of the workout is mobility focus. So we're just opening up your joints, open up your muscles. That'll be the first three minutes. Second three minutes, just more dynamic part of warm up, trying to get your heart rate up. So just making sure you guys can hear me. So sorry, next part of the workout is more of a dynamic part of the warm up. So as I said, get your heart rate up. And then the main section of the workout today is gonna to be Tabata focus. So Tabata is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. I'm gonna have three exercises on two different circuits. We're gonna go twice round each circuit, nine minutes of work total. And we're gonna end with a little plank challenge today, which I do at my Barry's Bootcamp classes, quite re well renowned. And then a final little four minute finisher is gonna end the class. So it's broken up. You're gonna get rest after every single round. And I'm gonna talk you through every, every single exercise. I'll give you regressions if you need it. So hopefully everyone can follow along and get a good workout. So as I said, the first part of it is mobility focus. So here's your first three exercises that I'm gonna walk you through before we get going. So the first one is called a cat cat camel. So on all fours, we're just gonna flex our spine through two ranges of motion. We're gonna flex our spine up, pushing the floor away, and then we're gonna suck our spine down, pushing our butts out. So that's the first exercise for the first 30 seconds. Second exercise, we're gonna go for a thoracic rotation. So you're gonna place your right hand on your forehead and you're gonna just rotate your elbow from pointing to the floor to pointing above you. So we're just opening up your lower body, rotating that spine. So that's the first two movements. The last movement, from that position, you're just gonna step your right foot out towards your right hand. So right foot's gonna come out and we're just gonna wiggle that knee out to open out your hips. So there's three exercises there. We're gonna do 30 seconds each exercise, twice through. So obviously we're hitting the right side first and then we'll hit the left side second. We're ready to come in. So the first one is that cat camel. So we're gonna be on all fours. It's quite low intensity for the first three minutes. The intensity is gonna build as the class goes through. Just checking there's no questions. Hopefully my music volume's all right. If you can't hear me, I'm sure I'll get some abuse. Hopefully you can hear the music and we'll get ready to go. So get ready to go. So as I said, mobility part of the warm up is gonna last about three minutes. So ready to come in on that cat cow. We've got in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, clock's on. So cat cow. So we're pushing the floor away, flexing that spine up and then sucking that lower back down. Retracting your shoulder blades, you're gonna crack an egg there. Push the floor away, retract that spine again. So we're trying to take your, your spine here through the full range of motion. So really push that floor away, get that upper back up, and then suck that lower back down. Ready to come into the thoracic rotation in three, in two, in one. So right hand on your temple, you're just gonna rotate round here. We're here for 30 seconds, we're just hitting the right side to start. Nice, and as you get more mobile, more supple, you can start to take the stretch a little bit further. So get it a little bit further around. Ready to step the right foot to your right hand. In five, four, three, two, one. So right foot goes to the right hand now, and I'm just gonna open out that leg. If you want to, you can add your hand to the knee and just gently push that knee out. Nice, rock it out. 10 seconds, we're gonna come back to your cat cow, and we've got the same stretches, but we're gonna finish obviously on the left side. So we've got 90 seconds more of work in three, two, one. So coming back to all fours, here we go. So cat cow again. So flexing that spine up, pushing that floor away, sucking that spine down. Nice, perfect. Right, that floor away. Take your spine through full range of motions. 
15 seconds, we're gonna go left hand on the temple and we rotate on the other side. We go, three, two, one. Here we go, left hand on the temple, open out other side. To make this exercise harder, if you've got good mobility, you can place your hand behind your back and it makes it even harder. It's a bit of like a weird chicken wing situation, but it does make it harder if you want to try that. Ready to go with that left foot to the left hand in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, left foot, left hand. Again, you can add the hand if you need to. Just help open up those hips. Nice, really push that knee up. Guys, if you joined a bit late, no worries. We're still in an ability part of the warm up. You can still get involved now if you want to. We're about to move into the more dynamic phase of the warm up. Final 10 seconds here, and you're gonna have three new exercises. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Good job, shake it out. So little rest now while I explain the next three movements. So your next three movements, as I said, this, is, this workout is designed for runners. So if you do find yourselves going on long runs, these exercises will be great to help you get warmed up for your long run. So keep these in mind. You do exactly this to prepare yourself. So here's your dynamic section of First one is called stiff legs on the spot. So you're gonna flex your foot up, but my toes are always gonna point up here, and I'm gonna keep my legs straight, and I'm just running on the spot like so. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. We're then gonna move to high knees for 30 seconds. So different range of motion. Knees are gonna come up like so. Drive it up, opposite hand, opposite knee. Final one, really gonna warm up your hamstrings. We've got the first circuit, we're just gonna swing that right leg. So you take a step back, swing it through, and if you can, connect your hand to that toe. So there are your three exercises. We're gonna go 30 seconds each, twice through. Just like the first part of that warm up. Ready to come in, we've got five, four, stiff legs on the spot in three, two, one. Here we go. So flex that toe up and I want to feel like I'm pulling my heel down into the floor. So nice upright body position. Fast legs. 10 seconds, we go high knees. We've got five, four, three, two, one. High knees on the spot now. I stay light on my toes. Lift those knees. Twenty seconds. We're gonna to start to warm those hamstrings. We got ten seconds on the clock. Your right leg's gonna swing up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Right leg swings up. Again, you just steady yourself in between each rep. Toe hits the floor and try and get it a little bit higher each time. 15 seconds, we come back to the start on those straight leg runners. Ready to come back to those stiff legs. We go, three, two, one. Here we go, toes up, opposite. Stay tall with your chest. Nice, breathe here, stay strong. Final 10 seconds on the clock. Ready to go, that's a high knees. We go straight in, in three, two, one. Here we go, lift the knees up. Again, nice upright posture here, just like when we're running. And if we're doing these exercises to warm up to run, you can run down the street like this. You may look a bit odd, but it's all about getting our body in good shape. Ready to come in, left leg, hamstring swing. So we go, three, two, one. Here we go, left leg.
Nice, just try and take that stretch a little bit deeper. Each time, toe comes up. Final 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake it out. So you've got about a minute's rest now just while I explain to you the next part of the workout. So as I said, the main section of the workout is going to be Tabata focus. So Tabata, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. So we're going to have three exercises here and we're going to go around three times. The first one looks like this. So it's a three pulse lunge into a switch. So my lunge stance here, again, I'm upright with my upper body. I'm not leaning forward. I'm upright. I hit three pulses. Knee goes towards the floor. Once I've done three, I switch. And you land and we go three pulses, switch. Three pulses on the third one, switch. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, you're going to come down on your backs. Single leg glute bridge. So I'm going to go one leg up to the sky. The foot of the floor, the heel is down, the toe is up. So I go 20 seconds on one leg and then switch 20 seconds on the other leg. That's exercise number two. The final one, we're looking to get the heart rate back up again, is one narrow squat and one wide squat. So it looks like this. I go one narrow, one wide. Then jump squats. One narrow, one wide. If you struggle to jump, just do normal squats and step it out. Try and stay with the pace, because like I said, Tabata, we're gonna get 20 seconds rest after each exercise. Ready to come in. First move, three pulse squat, we switch. Starting in six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Two, three, switch. Three, switch. So there's a little bit of plyometrics involved here in that jump. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of height on that switch. Halfway, 20 seconds down. Just a note here, your front leg drives the exercise. So I'm putting all my pressure through the front foot and therefore using the glute of the front leg. Final 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good, 20 seconds rest. So now we come down to your back, your heart is gonna come down a touch. Single leg glute bridge. You're gonna start with your right leg up in the air. 10 seconds time. We go, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds either leg. Try not to take a rest in between each rep. So I'm just tapping the floor ever so slightly and I'm going straight back up. Ready to switch legs in three, two, one. Switch legs, same thing other side. Remember the foot that's on the floor, the heel is down, the toe is up. Ten seconds. Nice, final five, four, three, two, one, good job, 20 seconds, shake it out. So last exercise on our first Tabata round. Narrow squat into a wide squat. Again, we wanna try and always control our breathing here. If the jump's too much, you can do one narrow, step it out, one wide. Coming in, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, one narrow, one wide. We'll always try and keep the weight back in the heels of your feet. When you hit the narrow squat, your weight's gonna wanna go forward. So notice how my upper body stays upright, therefore I'm using those big glutes, the powerful muscles. Halfway, 20 seconds to go. Nice, breathe. If they start to get too much, step it in. Slow it down a touch if you need to, but there's a rest coming in. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, good job, shake it out. That's one circuit done, we've got two more circuits to go on those same exercises. So first one, 10 seconds time, we've got the three pulse lunge and switch. Again, all my body weight is pushing through this front leg every time. Back leg's only there for support. 
coming in. We go three, two, one. Here we go. Switch. Third one's really powerful, remember. Drive hard with that heel into the floor. Up high, switch, land soft, find a rhythm. Remember, we're on our backs in the next exercise. So stay strong for me, because your heart is gonna come down. Final 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, shake the legs out. We're down on the back now, single leg glute bridge. 15 seconds, you're in. Ten seconds time. The key thing with this move is digging the leg down into the floor. You'll feel your hamstrings work a lot harder that way. Brace coming, we go. Three, two, one. Get that leg up, dig that foot down into the floor. Five seconds, we switch legs. Same thing, other side. We go. Three, two, one, switch around. How are we looking again? Remember, we're trying to dig the heel that's on the floor down hard into the floor as your hips come up. Final. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake it out. Jump it up. Last exercise on the second round. Narrow squat into a wide squat. Again, I can't stress enough keeping your chest upright. So not letting the chest fall forward when we squat. I stay back, push into the heels of your feet. Coming in, we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. One narrow, one wide. Control your breathing here. Your breathing is your biggest asset, just like when you run. Focus on the breathing, you'll forget about the pain. Can you work for the whole 40 seconds? That's 25 down, 15 to go. You're gonna get a leg burn here. Yes, yeah, sports shoes, stay with it. Nice, 10 seconds. Yeah, now it burns, can you stay with it? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, you feel that burn, it's there. 20 seconds, the last circuit of these three exercises. Once more through. First exercise, three pulse and switch. You know the deal by now. Coming in, we got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, three pulse switch. Upright with the upper body, sink low, drive and switch. Yes guys, light on those feet, breathe. Breathe, three, pulse, switch. Three, pulse, switch, you got 15 seconds on the clock. Final 10. Yeah, it burns now, it's supposed to burn, it's supposed to hurt, last circuit. There's a rest coming. In five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, nice, we're on your backs now. Down the floor, right leg up, final time on the glute raise. 10 seconds, we're in. Now you're gonna get a chance to breathe. Heel digs hard into the floor. We go three, two, one. Here we go. Hips up high. We're just tapping the floor. We're not resting, we're tapping. That way the tension stays in my hamstrings and I feel the burn. Ah. Five, four, three, Two, one, switch it over, same on the side, go. Ten seconds on the clock. Stay with it, drive down hard on that hill. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Last stretch of the round, 20 seconds. Last time. So if we haven't been jumping, now's the time to try and jump, because the last 40 seconds of work, you get a nice long rest. Coming in, 10 seconds. Here we go. Final exercise on the circuit. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Here we go, sports shoes. Last 40 seconds on the round. Last 40 seconds, you get a rest. Narrow, wide. Chest stays up. Halfway, 20 seconds. Can you stay with it? Yeah, you're gonna feel the burn here. You're gonna feel the burn. Can you resist the pain? Can you stay with it? I'm here with you. 10 seconds on the clock. Ah, quads are burning up. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake your legs out, you get a rest. If you've got the water, grab it, now's the time. Second circuit coming in. So, three new exercises. The intensity is gonna come down a touch because we're gonna focus on those glutes right now. We're gonna go isometric contractions on those glutes. So three new exercises, here's the first one. First one is in a plank position. Just turn the music down while I explain. So first one, plank position. You're gonna do two pulses up on your right leg, two pulses up on your left leg. So it looks like this, I point my toe, I go two pulses up right leg, point the toe, two pulses up left leg. Two right, two left. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, you're gonna to come to all fours. It's called a scorpion kick. So I'm gonna maintain the angle at my knee. So 90 degree angle at my knee, and then my foot is gonna curl on top of my back. So I come up, I do three pulses and come back down. Three pulses to the sky, come back down. We've got 20 seconds left leg, 20 seconds right leg. Exercise number two, final movement. Again, we're really gonna get a glute burn this round. Reverse lunge with a lift. So again, we're gonna go either leg. So I go, as I come up, lift that rear leg. I point the toe on the back leg, notice that. I come up, I lift. 20 seconds either leg. The reason today we're doing a lot of single leg stuff, one leg at a time, is because obviously when we run, we land on one leg at a time, I hope. We're not hopping down the street. So when I'm running, I'm landing here. So I'm trying to stabilize the muscles. Obviously when we land, if there's any lateral movement here, you gotta work the VMOs, the muscles around your kneecaps that support you guys when you run. That's exactly why we're doing this workout. So, three movements, same structure as before. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. First one, you're in our high plank. We're starting 10 seconds, get ready to move. We go, new track coming in. Five, four, Three, two, one, clock's on. High plank, two pulses up right leg, two pulses up left leg. The whole time my core is tight here. We do have a plank challenge today in our final round. It's gonna be a challenge, it's gonna be tough. Is it just warming up for it? Two pulses up right leg, remember to point that toe, two left. 25 down, 15 seconds to go. Final six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Knees come down now. So less tension through the upper body. We're just focusing on those glutes. Scorpion kick. So imagine the tail of a scorpion. It curls right on top of its back. Exactly what we're doing here. Left leg first, 20 seconds. Either side, we go five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Three pulses at the top, come back. Three pulses at the top, come back. Really drive up, feel that butt tense. Raise the switch legs, final five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other leg, go straight in. Toe flex is important here. That's what's going to help turn your glutes on. Good, final five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds, shake it out. Last exercise on the circuit. Music's coming up. So we got that lunge with a reverse leg lift. Here we're gonna focus on pushing through the front leg again. So I push through my front leg to come up and the back leg just lifts, you'll feel the butt tense in the reverse leg. Coming in, three, two, one, here we go. So 
So my weight is slightly forward over that front leg because I'm driving through my front leg to get me up. Rear leg just lifts. You'll feel the butt tense on the rear leg. Raise to switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, same thing, other side. Nice, stay with it, 10 seconds. It's about to squeeze this round. Not so much about the intensity. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, good job. Nice, guys. One circuit down, two circuits to go. Just under six minutes of work. 10 seconds. We're back to your high plank. This round, you're gonna do three pulses up right leg, three left leg. Raise, come in, five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. High plank position, three pulse up right leg, three pulse up left leg. Stay with it, halfway, 20 seconds down. Final 10, stay with it, stay strong, abs tight, glutes engage, you feel the squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. Woo. Next exercise, scorpion. 20 seconds left leg, 20 seconds right leg. It's about the squeeze here, I can't say it enough. It's not about how fast we move, it's about your intention of the movement. Coming in, we got five, four, three, two, one. One. Here we go, left leg up, point your toe, three pulses to the sky, bring it back down. Nice, build that squeeze, really pulse up. How high can we take it? Ready to switch legs, three, you got two, and one. Same thing, other side, straight up, straight in. Final six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Last exercise on the circuit, scorpion kick. Sorry, reverse lunge and lift, my bad. Reverse lunge and lift. It's a slow controlled movement, driving the primary focus in the front leg. Coming in, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, left foot forward to start. Up and lift. Five seconds, we switch legs. Get that rear leg up high, you'll feel that glute burn. And switch, same thing, other side. Final, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, shake it out. Once more through these three movements. Once more through these three, then we're into my plank challenge, we're coming to the end of the class. Ho, we're working hard now, stay with it for me. Just under three minutes of work to go. This time on your plank, we go four pulses up right leg, four pulses up left leg. Starting, three, two, one, here we go. Remember to point that toe. Four right, four left, point that toe. Final 10 seconds, stay with it. Three, two, one. Rest it out. Final time on your scorpion kick. 20 seconds either side. Really try and drive up high now. You've become more mobile, so we can go further. 10 seconds, we're in. We go, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, I'm with you. 
Just one leg to start. Three pulses up to the sky. Come back. Ready to switch sides. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Same thing on the side. Go. Final ten. Stay with it. Ah, yeah, now we should be feeling that glute burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Last exercise on the Tabata circuit. That lunge with the reverse leg lift. Ten seconds, we're in. We go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, here we go, set your position. Remember, point that rear toe as we lift. Final, three, two, one, switch legs. 20 seconds, same thing, other side. We get a nice rest after this. Work hard for me, earn the rest. Final ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, glute burn. Whew. Good job. Minutes rest. Grab your water if you need it. We're coming back in. We got my plank challenge coming up. So, you guys that are working out. While you're there, while you're resting, just have your eyes on the screen. So here's how my plank challenge works. We're gonna plank in total for five minutes. Within that, you'll have two 30 second rests. So a minute of rest within the five minute plank. So the first of all, we're gonna plank for two minutes. The rules are, in the two minutes, if you break your plank, so if your knees drop to the floor, if you go to a down dog, if you're in bad posture, then you have to go to burpees until the end of the two minutes. So two minutes in a plank. If you break, you go to burpees. So therefore, if you can only plank for 90 seconds, you've got 30 seconds of burpees. If you don't break your plank for two minutes, no burpees. How can you hold much and you hold the plank? After that, you're gonna have 30 seconds rest after the two minute plank. We do the same thing for one minute. You then have another 30 second break. And then we've got something a little bit different to finish. Five minutes on my cock. A lot of this is a mental battle now. I do this a lot at the end of classes because it's harder. Challenges you mentally. Ready to come in. Ready to hold that plank. Coming in. We go. Five, four, high plank. In three, two, one. Clock's on. High plank. High plank. I hope we're there. I hope we're working. I'm going to coach you through it. Nice and strong. As I said, it's a mental battle. It's about taking your mind elsewhere. The world record for a plank, world record, it's something like eight hours. Eight hours! You're doing it for two minutes. It's some crazy Buddhist guy, crazy monk. But he has no more muscles in his stomach than you guys do. All he's done is trained his mind so that when it hurts, he says, no, I got this. I'm gonna be stronger today. I'm gonna be better today. That's all he's saying to himself. You got 40 seconds down. Remember, if you break your plank, if your knees go to the floor, if you go down dog, it's burpees. I'm gonna join you for the final minute. That's 45 seconds down, stay strong. You're good, you're strong. I'm gonna join you on the minute mark. It's halfway, final 60 seconds. Three, two, one, you've done halfway. Abs tight. Remember to breathe. Always control our breathing. Abs tight, glutes engaged here. Stay strong for me. You got 45 seconds, just under 45 seconds, and we get a break. Stay there, stay strong. Final 30 seconds. Don't break now, you've come this far, don't quit. If you quit, you gotta go burpees. If you break, burpees are waiting for you. How much do you? You hate burpees, your choice. Final 15 seconds. Hold it, hold it. If you're in burpees, make sure we're going hard. We've got six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. Just a 30 second rest. Come down to your knees, breathe, breathe. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing for one minute. Same rules apply. If you break, you go to burpees. Be honest with yourselves. I can't see you through the camera. Only you know if you're breaking. You gotta challenge yourselves. 10 seconds time, we come in. Half the time, but we're fatigued now. Mentally strong. We go, high plank, in. Five, four, three, two, one. High plank, get there, stay strong. Tell yourself, it's half the time, half the time. If I told you, if I told you, I'll give you one million pounds. In fact, I'm on sports shoes. If sports shoes said they give you one million pounds to hold a plank, I bet you'd hold it right. Think of anything you need to keep you motivated, use it. Almost at the halfway point. Sports shoes are like, Harry, we don't have that money. Please do not give that kind of cash away. 30 seconds. Stay with it, stay strong. We've got another break coming up. <sighs> Breathe through it. Final 15 seconds. <sighs> nice. Stay strong, stay strong for me. We're all here together. Here we go, last 10 seconds, we've got another 30 second break. We've got seven, six, stay strong. Five, don't break. Four, three, two, one. Breathe, come to your knees. Come to your knees. The music's with you now. The music is gonna be timed so that the final 30 seconds is gonna be mountain climbers. So here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna go 30 seconds now in a high plank. Just 30 seconds. You'll hear the baseline come in on the track. When the baseline comes in, you're gonna drive your legs double time to the beat of the track for me. So 30 seconds hold, 30 seconds we drive hard mountain climbs. Here we go, sports shoes, Instagram live, we're ready to go. High plank in five, four, three, the music's turning up, two, one. Here we go, high plank, last minute on the plank challenge. It's tough now, it burns now. No one said it was gonna be easy. Focus now, come in. We're in the zone, our abs are tight. How are we gonna, we're gonna unload the final 30 seconds. Double time mountain climbers. Get ready for the baseline to come in. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, find the beat, find the rhythm. Yeah, now it burns. Now you get the ab burn. Ah. Stay with it, stay strong. Final, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, good job. Five minute plank challenge. Completed it. Five minute plank challenge completed. Now, the last thing you're gonna do, you guys have been so strong. You people that are still with me. We got a four minute, four minute little finisher to end this class, super sweaty, you give it your all. So we're gonna have three exercises. The structure is gonna be as follows. We do 30 seconds of each exercise. You then get a 30 second break. I'm then gonna put you into a two minute circuit of the three exercises back to back. So here are your three exercises. First one, we just finished on the mountain climbers. So you're gonna give me 30 seconds of mountain climbers, at a nice steady pace. You're then gonna come up we got squat jack for 30 seconds. So I go wide, tap, come back. So slightly different from what we did before. Squat jack for 30 seconds. Final 30 seconds, chest to floor burpee. So I'm down, come up, jump behind my head. 30 seconds of each. 30 second rest, and then we go max reps for two minutes. I'll give you the numbers. Ready to come in. You guys have been awesome, final four minutes. When the track comes on, you start. Mountain climbers, ready to move. We got five, four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers, find a steady rhythm to start. The first time through the movement is just to get you used to it. We're good. Nice, no need to go crazy fast. Find a rhythm. Eight seconds, we go squat jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Jump it up. Squat jacks, come together, land wide. Very small tap, jump it out. Two.
20 seconds we go to a burpee. Ten seconds we're in that burpee. We got five, four, three, two, one, burpee. Hit it. Twenty seconds time we get a rest. Stay in the burpee. You get a thirty second rest coming up. Work hard for it. Earn the rest. Yes, sports shoes. 10 seconds, you rest it out. Ready to rest. You got five, four, three, two, one. 30 second rest. 30 second rest. So, as I said, the final two minutes is going to be a circuit. You're going to give me 12 mountain climbers. Both legs count. So, one, two, three, four, all the way to 12. You then jump up. You do six squat jacks. Finally, you do three burpees. So, it goes 12, six, three. 12, 6, 3. As many times round in that circuit as we can. Two minutes on the clock. Ready to start, guys. You've been awesome today. Final two minutes. We go. Three, two, one. 12 mountain climbers. We then go six squat jacks. Finally, it's going to be three burpees. As many times round the circuit as we can. We go straight back in, 12 mountain climbers, six squat jacks, three burpees. This is where it starts to get hard. Stay with it. This is where you get that thought in the mind that wants you to quit. Now you gotta stay with it. Now's what determines you from everyone else. Stay in it. We'll use what motivation. Why are you with me on the Instagram Live? Why are you working out today? You might wanna get better as a runner. You might wanna lose weight. You wanna run a marathon. Whatever your reason is, now's the time to use it. Come into your last 60 seconds. 12 mountain climbers, six squat jacks, three burpees. Music's coming up. Here we go. I'm with you for the last 45. 12 mountain climbers, six squat jacks, three burpees. You know what's gonna happen. That track is gonna drop in the last 30 seconds. When it does, use the music to help you. Use the music to drive you. Use the music to take it further. Here we go, last 30 seconds. Sports shoes, what you got? Ah, final 15. Don't quit now. Yes, guys, 10 seconds. What we got, everything. Final, six, five, four, Three, two, one, done. Yes, guys, that was a tough, tough workout. I programmed it hard because I know you guys wanted to work hard. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Show me some love on the comments. Drop me a message if you need to. My Instagram is Harry Sellers. If you have any questions for me, if you need a stretch, come and chat to me. I'm here to help you guys. I'm just gonna take you through some light stretching now to end the class, and we can calm down a bit. Grab your water if you need it, grab your towel, and you're gonna meet me in an upward facing dog. So, in an upward facing dog, you're just gonna look over your left shoulder for me. Look behind you, lean back, crack an egg between your shoulder blades. Now look over your right shoulder. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. Now send your butt high to a down dog for me. Take your time in the down dog. Ready to step your right foot to your right hand. Right foot comes out and you're just gently gonna pulse that knee out. You can add your hand to your knee, just like me if you wanna take it a little bit deeper. 
Just be careful with how far you push it. Now, just send that right leg straight back. Chest goes down towards your knee. Toe points up. Feel that stretch down your hamstrings. Now, again, one more time. Come forward. Again, just pulse that knee out gently. Open out those hips. Keep it slow. Move with your body. One more time, hips back, chest down. Take this stretch slightly deeper if we can. And now just switch your legs around for me. So left leg comes out. I'm gonna pulse that front knee out. And again, send your hips back. Chest goes down, stretch down your hamstring. And again, come forward. Gently pulse that knee out, open out your hips. One more time, you're gonna send that front leg back straight, chest goes down, hamstring. Everybody needs you. Now finally for me, just going to come to a downward facing dog just to end these stretches. Take your time here, and I'm just going to move how your body needs. So wiggle your hips, pulse your feet to the floor, let your head hang heavy. And then slowly just going to walk your hands back to your feet. Let go, grab your elbows, and just sway from right to left. You feel a gentle pull down your hamstrings. Now super slowly, you're just going to roll up through your spine for five seconds, for four, for three, two, one. Stretch it up tall, make your body as long as you can, holding high for five, four, three, two, one. That's you guys done. Thank you so, so much for everyone that joined. That was a tough, tough workout today. As I said, I hope you made it through that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please shout me. If you want more kind of similar stuff to that, I teach a class on Zoom every day via Barry's Bootcamp. Barry's at home. It's a 5 p.m. bodyweight class. We hit a different muscle group every day. Um, if not, hopefully maybe I'll see you back on the Sports Shoes Instagram lives. I love that today, guys. Thank you so, so much. Take care. Have a lovely evening.